Hi everyone, I welcome you all towards my amazing, amazing, amazing uh, community. So today we'll be learning about law and economics in a very much more wider scale. So if you're already part of my community, I would like to welcome you. If you are watching me in YouTube, uh, after finishing this particular video, I'll just drop out the link in which you can also join my community and you know, you can get access to all this kind of beautiful resources in terms of, you know, law, where I'm trying to reach out towards huger humongous amount of law students across India so that, you know, they all get enriched and have more updation about what is happening within the legal fraternity. So within five minutes, I'll be completing most of the concepts and I'll be teaching in a very simplified manner. So if you're a student who is not able to really take down notes regularly in classes, or if you're a student like me who constantly goes to all kind of extracurricular activities and you have less time to study. Yeah. So at last minute before the exam, you require someone to teach you or really you want to start your studies from the first day beginning a serious student, regardless, wherever you are, this classes are really going to help you a lot. Hope I'll be able to deliver justice for you. Please do even look into the description of this particular video to get access to the notes. If you're already part of my community, yes, you'll be getting access. So those of you who would like to be part of my community, yes, I'll be dropping that link also for below. Now, let's start with the first important concept about what is economics. So under law and economics, we'll try to break it down and try to understand what is economics first. Okay. Economics studies how people, business and government make choices when faced with limited resources. Okay. When I have limited resource in my hand, how am I going to take decisions onto it? That is more about economics. That is got what you're going to mainly try to understand and learn. So here is a small example, which I've shown. So if I just explain your simple language, just imagine you have $20 in your hand. Okay. And today's evening you have, or, you know, you could just spend the time according on your particular wish. So I have $20 in my hand or rupees 20 in my hand. So this particular 20 rupees, you know, I can use it for buying any book or I can use this 20 rupees for reaching out uh, towards my friend and spend uh, spend humongously. And 20 rupees is a small amount, you know, but just imagine 20 rupees is the value of 2 lakhs. Just imagine, okay, I can spend out, uh, you know, I can go with my friends out and I can party, I can chill, I can enjoy. Or with this 20 rupees, I can actually, you know, go book for a movie and I could go enjoy for it. Or I could use it for my future needs. So there's 20 rupees which I have in my hand. How am I going to take that particular decision on how to spend that money of 20 rupees? Depends on my particular need, right? So all the decisions which I'm going to take at that point of time, that is called as an economical decision. So if you just read over here, you can't do all these things with just dollar twenty. So you must have a, to make a choice, you know, deciding what's most important to you. Along with that, in the economical decision, you're weighting the benefits of each option against its cost and determining what provides the mo most of its value. So in the $20 which I have in my hand, what am I going to use it maximum for? Plus what is going to be the worth of the $20 in which it can basically satisfy the, me the most depending on the decision which I take. That is called as an economical decision. Okay, very simple, right? So let's understand why law students should understand economics. The law students understanding economics can be crucial. Many legal issues with property rights to contract disputes have economical implications. So it could be in terms of legal matters you're dealing with, or it could be with a property matter you're dealing with, or it could be a contract. There at most of the situations, you have to apply your economical decisions, like how the $20 you have in your hand and how, what decisions you're going to take. That kind of decision-making capability should be there with you when when you're basically being indulging on all these kind of factors, when you're disputing in terms of property matter, contract matter, that, this. So all the basics of economics and law is going to surely help you. So by grasping the basics of economics, law students can better understand the broader context in which legal issues arises and potential consequences of different legal decisions. So your legal decision making skill will be very fast, very accurate very sharp because you're very much aware about what is economics. You know very well how to take economical decisions. So with the power of economical decisions, you can transform anything. Take right decision, right choices. You will know how to spend accordingly, how to analyze the things accordingly. That kind of bridge you'll be able to learn only through the connection loop of law and economics. So that's all. That's all for five minutes. I'm not going to extend it for long. So every video is going to be for five minutes. And you want to get humongous out of learning. Wish you all the best. Good luck. And stay tuned. And look into my description also.